Hey my friends, this video is a sign that the year 2021 will be the best possible year that ever happened to you. So I will share my personal story about how I came to where I am now, about all the, the most possible incredible manifestations that happened to me, that I started living my dreams. So I will share all the synchronicities that will happen for you as well if you will do what I did or at least some similar steps. So this is a sign. It's you're meant to hear this. So stay tuned till the end of this video. It will be a little bit different. You will see because I'm just at the finish line of this painting, the eagle which represents freedom and independence. So stay tuned my friends. <coughs> Hey my friends, today you are joining me with painting here, but the real reason why I'm sharing this with you, I don't know if you can see me, but you can see the eagle here. So the eagle, the ancient symbolism of eagle is that it represents the freedom and independence. And that's exactly what, in which direction we are going right now. So. It was the reason, like today I felt like I want to paint an eagle. It's a really powerful bird and I love the meaning, I love that ancient meaning behind it. So I just need to squeeze this color here. Oh, here it is. So I'm happy. I'm happy to, to paint it because for those of you who know my art, probably know that that's totally unusual painting for me but not many times I feel that way that I just need to paint something like that so I think it for me like the nature speaks through me and at the moments like that I just want to express it and another interesting thing here is with this art a friend of mine is having a birthday today and I decided that I will dedicate this painting to him. He's a huge lover of of eagles. He has he have a tattoo of an eagle, and I thought, what a great opportunity! What a great opportunity! And he's going through some moments right now. Every time when we are talking, he's like. He loves his art, this art, he's always asking me about it. But I can feel that there's still something within him that is like um, blocking him. He needs some sort of awakening maybe. But he's really a kind person, really amazing person and that's my gift for, for him. But I truly think like we are right now in this amazing unique times and I know for many of you it can be kind of hard, right? It can be kind of hard to deal with but I'm saying to you don't worry because everything will be okay, love always wins. So what we truly need to do is to become more aware how to experience love, to become more aware how to how to share more love with ourselves, with people around us, how to be more compassionate towards each other. And it's not a thing like we become masters at it. I think we are learning it every single day for whole our lives. And I'm learning it as well as all of you. And even if I'm talking a lot about it, it's still like, like I said before, I don't think that we ever become like the best possible lovers because I think there is no limit to it there is no limitation and I don't I'm not sure if like I said before we ever come to an end of it like there's always more for love there's always more for it so I'm happy I've never made a video like that for you joining me here with painting maybe if I put it a little bit more I'm not sure if you can still see me 
Okay, the focus is still great, hey. <laughs> okay, you can see me. So, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are having a beautiful time. It's the end of the year right now and... And it's kind of unique time because like I shared with you before many videos that we are okay so just make it that way so you can see I've shared with you many videos that we are going into a truly interesting time so this one is a little bit different because not many times you are watching me painting sometimes I'm sharing I mean many times I'm sharing with you paintings and processes of paintings while there's a message in the background but today we are real time here so let me know what you think about it you can connect here with my energy like we are having a live painting and I'm truly in a different mood when I'm painting maybe you can hear it maybe you can feel it like a singer while he or she is singing you're in a different space and you don't feel this time the way it, it usually feels like and the space is kind of different because I don't care what is here around I truly don't care and most of the times like we lose the feeling of space so it means that we step into a whole new dimension of understanding the reality which is quite powerful to think that way how how much creation creating creativity is truly powerful so that's the reason why i'm always saying to you find the thing in which you can creatively express yourself find the thing in which you can truly dig deeply into your soul and express that inner voice because it's it has a healing power i believe that we can heal ourselves through art like maybe sometimes we don't even need to go deep into meditation to experience mystical moments maybe many times we can just start we can use canvas and you can just start expressing ourselves on it and suddenly we just feel this this mystical energy I think it has a deeper meaning I think we are just becoming or we are at the beginning of understanding of its true power and I believe that art will become a tool for healing and whatever kinds of an art painting singing writing dancing whatever you can find useful or helpful so if there's any artist watching this i was using for this painting i was using just this knife for for painting the whole painting is made with that it's kind of different style that i'm using but now i'm adding the details with a brush so I can see that there's more and more artists also here in this channel which is truly nice to see I'm truly happy to see you all and if there's any of you creators that would like to share your work just send me your art and I will share it with people I will share it with on my videos so people can can see more of that because art is truly important I think like and the other thing is not many artists believe that it's possible to make a living out of it it's possible to to do what you truly love and just live with it like truly make a living out of doing what you truly love you don't need to be a painter or a drawer or a writer but whatever you are passionate about you can create a living out of it and that's actually a great time to talk about it because we we are moving into 2021 and what this year will be all about let's talk about it the 2021 will be all about manifesting your vision of the future 
manifesting the life that you would truly like to ex that you would truly like to experience and that's why this eagle here represents the independence you will become independent but only if you truly know what you want to do in life only if you truly know and if you are willing to follow that vision so truly pay attention to it because if you are truly willing to follow your dreams life will make it happen for you it will happen for you so I'm happy to, to share this with you is it better the light no I think that's better so I'm happy to share it with you because like three years ago I started following my dreams I started creating art actually everything started with uh, traveling I don't know how many of you know my story now there's many new people here on the channel but me and my girlfriend we had both jobs that we love to do like I was dreaming for so long to to have a job that I had before and it was I was working in a, a shop with sports equipment and at that time I was 100% into sports, into freestyle mountain biking. It's the sport where you are jumping with bikes, with mountain bikes, doing tricks like backflips and 360s, and you're like doing different tricks. And I wanted to work in an environment which would support my dreams at that time. So that shop was truly amazing for me because. I was able to get all the equipment for free or with a really great price. All my co-workers were also in the similar sport, so we were all kind of connected. So the energy was really great and I was kind of living my dreams, but what I found out, even if I'm doing what I love, even if I've manifested this job, I was still not happy, I was still not fulfilled. Which was kind of interesting because I didn't know, knew what is missing. So, so when I started digging more into, into books of spirituality and self-growth and different, different religions and ancient practices, it was all these books were talking about the similar things like the happiness is not coming from outside of us we can't buy it we can't find it in a shop even the sports that we love to do are not the reason for our happiness it's all adrenaline it's the chemistry in the body so I started thinking more about what is truly what is the real happiness how to find it so we decided to quit our jobs and to find that happiness and the plan was to, to go to travel into Spain because it was a, at the time of December, the, win, the winter time here in Slovenia. So we went there. I'm sharing this with you because I found many comments like if I could share some of my stories of manifestation and how I got to this, what I'm sharing now. So I wanted to share it, this message once again with you. So we went for a trip and we were traveling for four months searching and finding ourselves and it was really amazing because our vision before we went there was to, to become even better in the sport that I was doing at that time. I'm still doing it sometimes here and there but just for my soul, not for for proving something to others like ah, look at me how good I am, whoa. But I'm just doing it for myself now. So what we found out then, that when we quit everything, when we left everything behind, all the people we know, all the places we know, when we came at a certain destination where everything was new for us, it was everything unknown, everything was unknown. No judgments, no stories, no memories about it. Something clicked in us. Especially for me something clicked. I just became even more creative and I felt like I want to I want to 
to express my creativity. So we went there with a dream that we will become even better in the sport, that I will progress, maybe become a professional in it, you know, making a living with it. But after a few months, I got a strong desire that I want to draw. So I started drawing. And as soon as I started drawing, like the universe would be leading me to, to like experience what I'm doing now. So I started meeting people like famous artists. Like once we went into a coffee shop for a coffee and there was an old guy just started talking to my girlfriend so they were talking and I came by and they were actually talking about art and for me it was like I was okay cool but then he said like he's truly famous artists artist there in Spain and people wanted to buy his art for eight million dollars and things like that but he didn't want to, to sell it because his art me meant a lot to him so he was like totally normal human being really simple guy and all different synchronicities happened that way like we started meeting people i started showing them my art and they were all like oh you really need to do something with it they were all those drawings were for from my visions many times when i was meditating i saw different ideas and at that time I just thought, oh, those are really interesting ideas. But then, at some point, I got a strong urge to learn to paint. I wanted to learn to paint, but I had no idea where to buy, where to buy the equipment for painting. And what happened, I couldn't paint on the road. We were traveling with a car. And I couldn't paint and draw with on the road anymore, so I felt this is the time to go back home. And something interesting happened, because before we truly decided to go home, we said to the universe, show us a sign that it's time that we need to go home and start our journey, following the dreams. And the next day somebody um, robbed into our car if it's the word broke the window and and that somebody we don't know who he or she was stole Maya's bag she had everything in it all the documents not money but all the documents and when we came to our car we just saw a broken window <laughs> and it was like truly amazing sign you will see because uh, you know how it is when you're traveling in different countries and you lose all your documents. It's a lot of complications with papers. You need to go to to police station and things like that. And we went to a police station. I never shared this story before. We went onto a police station and we told everything. And just in case if they will find the documents, they said usually we don't find it. Like in 99% we don't find anything. So, but still we will write everything down and maybe, maybe if we find everything, we will, anything we will call you. And after four hours they called us, they said, hey, we found all your documents. It's like a miracle. We find all your documents, so everything is okay. But if you truly want to fix your window, you need to go into Slovenia at your company, which is providing insurance for your car and they will fix it for you. So it was a sign that we need to go back to Slovenia to, and we went back to Slovenia. But before we went back to Slovenia, we went into a near shopping center to buy food for our road trip. And there I found the last package of ac acrylic colors. I'm using always, almost always acrylic colors for my paintings. So I found there the last package of acrylic colors and the last package of brushes, which was again sign. <laughs> okay, universe, thank you so much. I wasn't sure at that time of all the synchronicities, all the signs, but now when I'm looking back, it's like, 
a story for the book. So actually I started writing a book soon after, after it and it's still not finished because I'm going with the flow so I'm I'm creating a lot of different things and a lot of artwork as you can see. So I'm taking baby steps in everything but what I found out the most why I'm sharing this all with you what I found out I went from sports into painting and I didn't know anything about painting I didn't know how to sell it how to create it how, how you can make anything with it but I had a strong feeling that I need to do it that like the universe wants wants me to do it, wants to like learn to express your creativity and you will see that everything will work for you. Everything will happen the, the way you want it to happen if you will follow your dreams. So we decided okay let's open our companies, let's open the company where we will somehow help people with art or with the story that we have. We know so much, we've read so many books, we've experienced so amazing things, so many synchronicities. We've met so many amazing people on their journey. So we said, let's open the company and find a way how to help people. Maybe to like, maybe when we are in the positions when maybe we want to quit a job, but we don't have enough of I don't know, I believe that it's possible to survive with that or we don't have faith or something like that. Let's help them. So we didn't know how we will sell, what we will sell, what we will do. But I said, look, I will do my art and we will see what will happen with that. So at that time I started painting. I was painting all day long, every single day. So many ideas. At the first four months, I've made over 40 paintings, I think. And then some synchronicities happened again. I met a, a really nice person, which was like my angel at that time. And she became my business mentor. And it just happened that she, she knew somebody of some art gallery in Slovenia. And through that, through the synchronicities, I had my first art exhibition and it was a success. I met many people there. I got some clients and everything worked. So I'm telling to you guys, I'm sharing this on the last day of 2020 to inspire you that you can do it. Since then, then I started putting everything on YouTube and I've made a channel at that time. I, I draw my passion. I started sharing all of my art there. But it was not growing at all. Uh, but I was posting it like every single day or every week I was consistent with it. I believed that what, something will happen. But then one day I had an idea in meditation to create another channel which would be more inspiring with more inspiring content like it was our dream at the beginning. And the name of it will be Attract Passion. Like, if there's a law of attraction, why if we, what would happen if we would attract passion and we can create our dreams come true with anything we are passionate about? So I created this Attract Passion channel and it started growing really, really fast. And now we are here over 80, I think 80,000 subscribers which is so amazing. So that's kind of my story, how everything happened. There's so much more manifestation stories. And if you have, like, if you would like to hear more, just let me know in the comments below. We don't have, like, I don't want to take all of your day's time just for watching these videos because you still need to take actions from your visions from your dreams <laughs> you know so so i hope this story can inspire you like i said before like this eagle represents the freedom the independence this is our time this is your time to shine my friends so i truly i'm sending you so much love i'm sending you so much blessings 
to have like I believe that 2021 will be truly powerful year so if you believe write in the comments below as well that 2020 will be the best year ever write it down so we can raise the vibration that more people can feel it and that's it my friends that's it for today i hope you enjoy that video let me know if you would like to see more of that like being here with me with me while i'm painting i'm totally in a different mood so i'm sending you some of that energy and i hope you can feel it <laughs> have a beautiful day my friends and see you soon one love the eagle is almost finished what do you think about it let me know in the comments what do you think about it i think it's amazing i see courage in his eyes and i think he's trying to say to you that you will make it <laughs> you will make it my friends your dreams will come true don't worry don't worry <laughs> one love